where the school board is, is not meeting, having canceled its monthly session when the strike first started. Mr. Clemmer, clearly your plan to destroy the Barber Teachers Association has failed. With their strike now approaching the two and a half week mark, clearly the teachers are becoming more militant. Witness their early morning actions of the past two days, blocking the vans carrying substitute teachers and forcing police to arrest them for disorderly conduct. I wasn't gonna let that van go through with those scabs smirking at us. It, it was just a last ditch effort to make them talk to us, to make them aware that we're out here for these children, you know? But while some teachers are allowing themselves to be arrested for the cause, others have abandoned that cause altogether. 21 teachers here at Barberton High School are now crossing their own picket line and are back in their classrooms. I think it would be unrealistic to expect 100% uh, support, uh, the same way it is that uh, you would expect 100% uh, of the members to agree with the uh, decisions that are made. Negotiate! Negotiate! School officials, meanwhile, ignored the latest demonstration outside their door, saying only they will try to remain low profile. In Barberton, Paul Ray, Channel 3 News. There is still no word on when the two sides in the Barberton dispute will return to the bargaining table going to school. Well, early this morning saw an escalation of that roadblock, and still more arrests took place today. A further indication that as this strike goes through its third week, a settlement is not within sight. Joyce Johnson reports. Today, the Barberton teacher strike intensified as seven more teachers were loaded into police vans for blocking substitute teachers from entering Memorial Elementary School. Yesterday, there were two teachers arrested. Both were back on the picket line this morning. The teachers arrested today were charged with disorderly conduct and fined $35, but they still feel that this may be the best way to get their message across to the community and the Board of Education. There's a point in time at which the abuse has to stop. You have teachers that care. So how about it, board? How about caring about us? We've been fair. We've been negotiating. We feel that we've done everything we can to achieve a settlement. We're very concerned about the situation. We obviously have an opposite view. We don't, we've been trying very hard to work with the teachers to resolve this conflict. A court appearance is set for Monday. The board will ask for an injunction to limit the number of pickets. It's currently set at two per entrance. But as the frustration turns to anger with no new talk set, patience is running out. I'm really tired. I, I'm not willing to do this every day. I'm not. I just want to see things resolved. I really do. I'm really concerned about the children, and I'm really concerned with what is going on in the classroom. Joyce Johnson, 23 News Day, Barberton.